YouTube, welcome back to some more Guardians of the Galaxy. And the last time we left off, we had just got out of there and then got shot by Nova Corp and got captured. Even though I died like three times trying to get out, it happens, I guess. But we're gonna try to do better this time. So if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it as always. And let's get to this video. Uh, please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Hope. Uh, did you say how is hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. Hold up. Need to get I thought we got captured. Now. God damn it. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. Oh damn! I'm looking alarm. We all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thing. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is going to hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. <laughs> hey, Corell. How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral. I swear it's not blue. what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. We're nice gonna double down. You too, Corral. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill. Look at boy, man. Found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please. Tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. Do you want to end up in the kiln? Uh, just hide the tech. Shit. Hide rockets crate. Peter, you're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corell the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corell. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. Well, either we go lose a llama, or we getting arrested, or both. no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Nova Corps licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? Gardeners. <laughs> no. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. 
Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Looks like a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Peter gets no love. What are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? Hey. I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. Here goes Plan B. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoner. Me, Peter, you need to learn how to, uh, bro, don't hit me. That gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do. First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business like folk on legitimate like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Still fall in line for now. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain. The you. captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No container. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. The Flark is a Grand Unifier. Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Never no. mentioned you must have that. Damn! Oh shit! Hold on. Oh, now you gotta save her. Oh damn! I messed up. <laughs> oh well, that's one death. Let's see if we get this right this time. You better save her daughter. He might be in her good graces. Oh, am I moving? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Let me just see if I can. Hold on! Push on! You, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's she really gonna need these damn boots. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like. Trust me, kiddo. We got this. See? <sighs> this is a weird. Try not to mess this up. Get out of here. There's a 
blast door around the corner will be safe there. Here, help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. Go, go. I mean, she was just being a little smarter as not. Now she need my help. We need to keep moving. This way. Yeah, Nikki. Whoa. Just stay I close. I knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? You'll be surprised. Oh, actually. Oh man, this is bad. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on. You know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <laughs> Obviously. Ah! Doesn't look like it. Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! <laughs> well, not going that way. Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? I mean, right now you need to find some kind of way to get Are you out of here without falling. You're fine -ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots would be right now. I should have activated her. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Uh, how about you let me collect this real quick? Yes! Got it! Through here! Woo! <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Call me Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Go with the bad news first. You hear me? Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Hold up, wait. Processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. Flark! Let me guess, rocket. Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now, are you gonna help? Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. <laughs> They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Gives them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. Well, gave us something to do, that's for sure. What's this way? Hold up. Okay. Just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. For your hey, hey, hey. There's an escape hatch back here I could totally use to run away. But out of respect for your authority, I'm gonna, you know, ignore it and follow your lead. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, uh, is a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. So why don't you just let me go since you know how your 
mother is. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? Hold up. I gotta collect some stuff y'all got laying around. Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Any day now. Right, right. Just taking it all in. Oh, I, I still got stuff to do. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. I mean, since it seems like she's been this down here a lot. To escape your mom's ship, I really need to know because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh wow! Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Dude, she got her own little art. Pretty good, pretty good. That looks a little weird, though. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Hey, Rocket said he's not a raccoon. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Hey, I'm about, I'm about to sneak in your room, if you don't mind. It, well, at least this looks like one of your private rooms. Sorry. Sorry. Hey! Secret stuff. All Damn it. Limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. But I wanted to go in there. It looked like they had some, uh... More stuff clothing. that I could have grabbed. Yay. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make we sure gotcha. Pharrell knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So, I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. I mean, if you take these cups off, Almost maybe I'll put in a good word for you. We're home. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? Oh, damn. I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and... Hmm. Recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. Yes, ma'am. I knew you'd overreact. 
You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. So no. I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. I think she feeling some type of weak. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is <laughs> wrong with you? She was a lovely person. I'm just trying to make light of the situation. Out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? Yep. 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. We go divert that situation. I'm not. I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like... Feelings, feelings, more like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. It's a lot of feelings to bubble up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. Oh, we wouldn't do that continued. at all. Disengage log down. Lockdown disengaged. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. Bro, oh, she's so angry. Day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. You know, I was thinking about this the whole time, but I wasn't too sure, but I'm gonna do the math anyway, just to be a little curious. 12-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. 12 years ago when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. What happened? But then after all this time, you haven't changed. 
at all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. He led. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever? You won't. Do you have feelings for it? You want the Star Lord? Three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay, so we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. Nah, Rocky would get no love from you, bro. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> All right, let's see if we could try to... I am watching you, Rodent. Get these damn What's units. What's supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay, first off, I ain't a hoarder nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Why don't oh, you go music. bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. I am watching you, tree. So where the hell am I supposed to find units? This thing looks so sinister. Hey, who said you could touch that? I don't go I did. your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You You're alive. You advisor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud <laughs> yeah okay so what is this thing anyway it kind of looks like a metal face hugger that is clearly a spinal control unit 
Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What we didn't know, what I didn't know, was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. Well, to me, you're still a raccoon. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay. And let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk. And a few bad memories. I'm sorry you had to go through all that rocket. For real. I'm still gonna stay in your in your room now. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You should be sneaking in my room while I'm asleep. So kiss my butt. Hey Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out and Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a bluebird? It, um, was Yondu's call sign. He was bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager space virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Y 
Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out... He could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Um, I'm trying to find units, not sit here and have conversations wait, 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 for two wait. hours. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. Holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the mock I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains. Yeah, guys! Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of weird. No! Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, there's no way it gets us what we need. And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Well, Perhaps we all know what they're thinking. Consider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous. No! I am Groot. I am Groot. He said yes, sir, Groot. Combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. 
It was brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! These boys going off the rails. Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. This is true. The Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Oh, man, why y'all gotta make me make this damn decision? I mean... Rocket kind of been on my ass the whole the whole time I've been playing. So, Rocket, you can go. We'll get you out later. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we uh, we get a quote. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster, and we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. See what I'm saying? See? That's why I decided Rocket. It's been on my ass the whole time I've been playing this damn game. And I ain't been playing that long. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. That easily. He can't Not be really. serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Come on now, Peter. You gotta do better Next than that. Time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all right, guys. Right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I don't know I can get a word in, but all right, guys. This is where I'm going to end this video. If you like the video, please feel free to leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Shut up, Rocket. It's greatly appreciated as always. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.